Hello, this is a short video um, to explain how to set up FTP so you can upload your web space, your, your, your website to your free web space on TalkTalk Talk, um, broadband provider. Um, so what, what you'll need is, this is the information you'll need to set up your TalkTalk Talk free web space FTP account. Right, when you sign up for you've got to sign up for your web space separately and when you sign up for it you'll have a domain name so it'll be something at well something dot talk talk dot net so suppose you decided your web space you wanted it to be called tennis tips or how to bake or peter's website or whatever you choose you'll need to know that and put that where it says your site name dot talk talk dot net that's the bit that you're going to need to know um, you'll also have a username now your username is very similar but it doesn't have the www dot but it does have this at sign so you'll need to know that as well but when when they tell you this you, you, you'll fill, fill this form in and that'll when you're setting up your web space um, and you'll fact you'll have this all of this information so write it down then you'll have a password so make sure you write the password down and you need to know that it's on port 21 when we're using the FTP software so let's have a better look right this, you have to fill this dialog box in when you um, when you when you set up FileZilla, FileZilla is an FTP client but it's FTP software so where will you put all the information there's a box here that says host and you put www dot then you'll put supposing you call it tennis tips it will be www dot tennis tips dot talktalk.net and if it was if you chose um, how to bake as your um, sort of site name it would be www.howtobake.talktalk.net that goes in this host box that where it says port put 21 in there where it says server type that's a drop down box we're going to look at this in a minute um, and in that drop down box there put FTP file transfer protocol as they say there um, where it says login type choose normal that's another drop down box then user you put supposing we're calling it tennis tips it would be tennis tips at talktalk.net but there's no www dot in that one but there is an at sign uh, then put your password in there click that connect button and we should connect up so let's have a look this is this is my desktop so this is FileZilla now once you've installed FileZilla there's a little button there and either click that button that says open the site manager or go file site manager and you get this dialog box so fill this box in as you saw on this one there like that when you filled it in just click connect and then it says here it's telling you that it's trying to connect now depending on how busy the server is it might take a while to connect while well, connecting up this is a backup folder I've made here on my desk this is my desktop here and there's a backup folder so I'll just delete oh there we go you see it's, it's connected up now I'll delete everything in my backup folder because I'm going to back things up again so now the backup folder there is empty so if you wanted to upload something this is your web space on the right hand side and on this side the left hand side this is the, your local computer now you've got to navigate to your desktop or wherever it is you keep your um, your local version of your website that you want to upload so navigate to it on this side this is my talk talk site there and supposing I wanted to upload one of the files out of here I just click it right click it and choose upload <laughs> I didn't intend to upload it but never mind it, it takes a while to do it we'll just have to wait for it to do it if you if it was some of the time if, if you do this and slowly click it twice it'll let you change the name if you do that just click somewhere else so if you accidentally click it slowly twice just ask, that's asking us if we want to overwrite it if we if we're uploading like that index HTML it's already on the web server but if I'd made some changes I would want to upload it again and overwrite the original one I'm going to click cancel because we don't want to upload it at the moment um, 
and that's that's how easy it is just whichever flight file you want to upload just click it and then right click it and click the upload one now what I do want to do is make a backup of my um, I want to download the files from this one here onto my local computer to back them up in case anything goes wrong that's so I've got a backup copy and I can just upload them again so this one I've made on my this is my desktop and this is the backup folder so open that then I just click here choose everything that one there with the dot in front of it that's a hidden file this actually is th this particular one is the one that um, limits how much stuff you can put on your web server we were limited to 15 megabytes on this um, and that, that that's one that that does that we can't do anything with that but it's got a dot in front of it. you can tell it's a, it's a hidden file because it's got that dot in front of it anyway so I've chosen the ones I want to download this is on the web server right click it click download and you can see over here all this stuff's happening now it's, it's stopped there but it hasn't finished so don't worry about that it um, it takes a while so you've just got to wait for it to uh, you actually queue up when you're doing this you, you queue up on the web server and you've got to wait until it's your turn now it's going again you see and then in a minute down here you see it says queued files there is queued files there were 45 over there or 46 and now they've it successfully transferred them so that's it that's really just about all you need to know when you've finished there's a button here the little disconnect from currently visible server now if you don't connect if you don't disconnect I don't think it'll matter because you if you close the software then it'll be you know you, you've disconnected I always just click that button when I've finished and it disconnects we'll just go back so we don't forget what we're doing this is the the, the stuff you need to fill in so when you are setting up FileZilla this is the information you need and this button here is how you open the dialog box to do it go back there and so stop the video at this point when you're doing it and fill it in like this so that's your host it tells you there port 21 server type make sure you set that drop down box to uh, file transfer protocol logon type normal and the user your password that's all you need to do well I hope you found that useful and I do hope you pop back and uh, watch some more videos. Thanks for listening. Bye.